Modesty is a natural trait of the ISFP personality type, but why would you want to be modest and what are the strengths and appeals of modesty? First of all, philosopher Lao Tzu said that all the rivers flow to the lowest point, and with this he meant that we should all strive towards a more unassuming, a more innocent and more natural way of life. We should not try to be strong or amazing or incredible in all situations. We should all seek to naturally develop and cultivate some general sense of humility. And what's the general guest or appeal of modesty? First of all, when you're modest and humble, other people will naturally feel more comfortable to approach you with ideas and suggestions and feedback, meaning you can learn a lot more from other people. Have you ever found that whenever you sit down and talk to strangers that they just naturally open up to you, that they feel comfortable around you, that they feel that they can be themselves around you? Often it's because of your natural ability to be modest they feel when they are around you that they don't have to put on a mask or a show. They don't have to impress you. They don't have to do or appear in a certain way. They recognize that this person is going to accept me just the way I am and is going to appreciate me for who I am just the way that I am. And so this is a trait that every single person can learn from and inspire towards. But how can you learn and master modesty and humility? And what is the key to being and living a more modest life? First of all, not only ISFPs are modest, but also INFPs, INTPs, ISTPs, and all the perceiving types and all introverts can have some qualities of modesty and humility, but beyond that, anyone can learn to develop and cultivate some level of modesty and humility and can use that to be more successful in life. Yeah. The key to modesty is really to learn to stop comparing yourself to other people. It doesn't matter how good other people are at something or how good you are at something. What matters is whether you enjoy something or not and whether you feel like doing it or not. And so often modesty comes from learning to do things not because you're supposed to, not because uh, you are, have to be the best at it, but just because you for the enjoyment itself. Modest people are known for their ability to tone down their own skills and achievements. They don't boast or brag, they don't pretend or show off, they don't seek approval or appreciation or to impress other people. They simply seek to live life and enjoy life the way it is. But how do you cultivate a modest mindset? Well, first, there are a few things that you have to remember. Most of all, you can learn something from every single person you meet. Every single person has an interesting story or experience or some skill or ability. And so every single person you meet can be interesting if you just learn to pay attention. Eyes of peace are naturally geared towards listening and towards perceiving and adapting to what's around them. And so they are naturally very open to the stories and experiences of other people. By sharing this openness and learning to see the fascination other people have inside, you have a chance to learn things and experience things and achieve things and to master things that you otherwise wouldn't. Modesty is also about learning to be comfortable being vulnerable. It's okay to admit flaws and weaknesses. It's been found that women are more likely than men to admit when they have a problem or when they have an issue or a struggle, while men are more likely to not talk about it or pretend that that issue doesn't exist. However, that doesn't stop the issue from being there. And there is a good chance that if you would just let other people know that you need help, that other people would be happy to step in and to pre uh, be with you and to work with you to solve the issue. The truth is, most people I've found want to be valuable, want to be useful, and want to matter to you. And so when the people are modest, they naturally allow other people to step in and to be a part of their lives. People that are modest typically tend to attract strong people into their lives that enjoy and feel that they can be useful and appreciative and appreciated by you as a modest person. Modesty is also to be able to admit that you could be wrong. Yeah, you, it's okay to be passionate about something, it's okay to put your heart in something, but it's always important to recognize that you could be wrong. There's always a chance that you might have missed something, that there could be some other perspective to consider, that there is some other thing going on more than what you know. And so 
you have to allow other people to open up and to share and to be a part of the discussion. And modest people shine in group discussions because they allow everyone to share their opinions openly and they because they make a, create a situation where people can participate to solve a problem together. Now, that's not to say that modesty doesn't come with its set of challenges. Yeah, there are situations where modest people can find it hard to speak up and to speak openly about what it is that they feel. And only by balancing your modesty with some assertiveness in areas where it's important and in situations which demand it, can you be able to be more well-rounded as a person. People that are modest tend to sometimes underrate themselves and their skills and abilities. What I see when modest people take personality tests is that modest people will often be inclined to disagree more often with positive statements and to agree more often with negative statements, meaning that often you might be more negative about yourself than what you realize. You might undervalue genuine skills and abilities that you have just because you're modest. And so recognize that modesty can also be a blinding bias if your modesty is too high compared relative to your assertiveness, you might find that you don't have a realistic expectation or experience of yourself. So how do you develop modesty? There are many ways to develop it. First, you could think about situations and times in your life when other people helped you and supported you, and you can find gratitude for those kinds of moments. You can think about how other people in your life have helped you become the person that you are, supported you through difficult times, and you can express appreciation towards other people, making them feel recognized and seen and heard for what they do and the effort that they put in. You can also try to stop comparing yourself to other people. When you recognize yourself trying to compete with others or to think, oh, that person has so much and is so good and is so nice, remember that this is not an important comparison. The most important comparison is, do you have a good time together? Can you enjoy each other's company? Can you learn something from this person? And so stop trying to downplay and underrate yourself and to compare yourself to other people. Every single person is different and every single person li will live and to do different things. And so focus on what you can do and what it is that you want to do rather than trying to fit in and be like other people. Modesty is not the same as a low sense of self-esteem. You can have a genuine natural modesty that isn't because you feel doubtful or negative about yourself, but it's rather because you feel at peace with the world as it is. <clears throat> modesty is a choice rooted in strength because it takes strength to admit that you could be wrong and that you could always learn something new and that you could always improve. It's important for a person, a student, in school to be able to be modest in order to be able to listen to a teacher or to be able to accept the advice of a mentor. Only people that are modest can grow and can really improve themselves through the feedback and support of other people. And only by having the ability to admit that you could be wrong, could you get the opportunity to be right in the future. Best of luck in your quest to modesty. And thank you so much for watching this video.